All right, today I'm gonna to demonstrate how to safely cut a lino cut relief print. Um, there's some things that you need to know and you really need to pay attention to so you don't end up getting hurt. Um, hurt meaning cut um, on your hands, okay? So you have different uh, linoleum cutters and these are very sharp because this is a very tough surface. And so if it slips and your hand's in the wrong spot, it's gonna slip and cut your hand. I have two different sizes here. I usually use a two and a five. The two is smaller for like outlining and more detailed areas. And the five is for taking out big areas. Now, another thing that I have, this is my plate that I'm getting ready to carve. I also have um, a table bench. Um, or a table hook, a bench hook, sorry. The bench hook actually has, it looks like this, and this will actually hook onto the edge of the table, so it's not going anywhere. It also has a grooved area for whenever you're doing diagonals, okay? And so whenever you're doing a diagonal, you're gonna rotate your plate, and then if it's flat and you're going this way, you'll rotate it. So you always want to be going in this direction when you're carving. You never wanna have your hand here and carving this way because if it slips, that's where you're gonna gash yourself, okay? So always make sure that you're carving away from yourself. All right, so I'm gonna start. I typically start, I haven't done any carving on this plate, so this is a very, very new, fresh plate. And I often will start with the, um, the smaller one because I like to outline my stuff. So whenever I'm holding this, I'm always making sure my hand is behind the blade. Um, it has to be behind the blade, otherwise it's just gonna be too dangerous. And so I'm kind of pushing down and I am using a little bit of my muscle and I'm just really going around and kind of outlining my area that um, I want to actually stay. Um, so it's just outside. And then once I get that outlined, then I can switch to a tool. All right, I'm gonna rotate this because I have a different angle that I'm going at. So you want it to be always going away from you and make the plate at the angle so it can always be going away from you. You should feel kind of comfortable, not awkward, and um, you know, just maneuver your body and also the plate in a way that makes it so you have the leverage you need and you're also keeping yourself safe. Okay, so I kind of outlined that area. So now I'm gonna switch. Um, ideally, I would outline everything before I, I switched blades, but I want I want to show you like how the difference between the two as well. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see. Um, so these are just fine detailed lines that I created around and now I can start taking up bigger chunks and making a little bit more progress at removing that negative space. So anything that I don't want to print, I am lifting up or carving out. Uh, and remember, if it's gone, it's gone. We can't put this back on. It's kind of like a haircut. You know, you can't go back in time once after you've cut off your hair. You just, you know, but unfortunately the linoleum will not grow back whereas your hair will. All right, so I'm kind of pushing and trying to remove some of those areas. Now understand this process is not gonna be perfect. Your print is gonna show some lines. So if you see that there's textured lines there, I can go back and remove that, but appreciate some of those extra lines that might print um, because it shows the human element and it might give it some nice interesting textures. And um, so sometimes the imperfections of the printmaking process actually make the print more interesting. All right, so notice where my hand is. My hand is always behind my blade and I'm just gonna continue on and keep carving. I also don't wanna go too deep. If you go too deep, you're gonna hit the, the stuff that's on the back, the mesh that's holding it all together. We don't need to go that deep. All right, so if we can get kind of a slice of it, you can kind of see how deep I've gone. So I've removed about half 
um, half of what's there as far as the thickness of the linoleum, okay? All right, so remember, always have your hand behind the blade. It only belongs here. Like I'm just using it to kind of hold this corner down and it's never going to go anywhere else behind where my blade is.